And so guys, welcome to the Vegas of the Black Sea. I have to tell you this place is interesting. So I came here around a month ago to the city of Batumi here in Georgia. And at first, I didn't really like it. I have to tell you honestly. Then it warmed up a little bit slowly. I started to understand the city a little bit. Started to see how much they're building. Started to understand why the things that I didn't like, why they're here and why potentially in the future this place will be even better. And today I want to take you along a little bit on the first impression of the city, show you the different districts, show you some nice places to stay, be it uh, super nice hotels or as well as apartments. And at the end, give you a little bit of a summary. After one month of staying here, how did I like it? The pros and cons of Batumi, Georgia. I started out, basically, I spent uh, a couple of weeks in Tbilisi, then I hopped on a train and made my way down here to Batumi. At that time it still has been a little bit colder, the city felt really different. So let me tell you, uh, take you along on that first impression and then we're gonna hop into summer a couple of weeks later to show you quite the contrast. Well, well. We have uh, arrived in Batumi. So I will take you along, guys. This will be the final probably video of Georgia. I think the fourth one at this point. So on that note, if you're new here by any chance, I think this is probably country number 54 or something I've been visiting. town where I have to tell you when you just see it for the first time you're like wow what is this architecture yes in a way maybe a little bit futuristic a little bit Dubai maybe Singapore but at the same time it's kind of an interesting mix you feel a lot of let's say the post-soviet vibes here but generally it's in many ways a touristy town in the summer but year around I think it's quite an interesting destination probably let's say the second biggest hotspot in the country of Georgia so I've been in Tbilisi for a good 10 days and you know when the very first time I saw this building with kind of like so we have this ferris wheel in the back that's kind of like a little bit of touristy area there's ships there's a port you can take like boat rides the season is slowly starting out it's june but there's also this other ferris wheel which is in the building in the middle of a building in front of it is the reddison blue hotel and when i saw this place i was like hey this city looks freaking interesting i gotta come i gotta check it out and this is actually also where i'm staying right now this hotel back there and I Okay guys, for a quick second, enjoying right now the sunset in Batumi and as always, as you probably know me, we're rolling with the level 8 suitcase. I have to tell you one thing, when it comes to flying, when it comes to traveling, I have been on the road with the level 8 cases for over a year now. They're super durable, especially the aluminium case, like you can pretty much sit on it. I just tried it out, it's actually quite fun. I'm telling you one thing, their carry-on luggage, their check-in luggage, they're all extremely high quality at still a fairly affordable price. When it comes to check luggage, they have a wide variety to choose from. I'm telling you, I've pretty much tried four of their different pieces. Actually, they're often running sales. You can check out their Instagram page for special promotions, but especially for me, usually they do like 10% discount. They said, hey, we're giving 15% off if you're planning to travel anytime soon. So check it out. I'll leave the link down below. And with that, let's keep it rolling. Notice right away when you come into the city, it's just the amount of different, really interesting structures that they have built in the city. So this is some type of observatorium, I think. Uh, probably can go up there. And you know, instead of, let's say, just perhaps looking around these buildings and walking around the neighborhood, I was like, why not live in one of them? So a couple of steps away, right here from kind of like the main area, the main beach, there is the Radisson Blue Hotel. And it's really interesting in the sense that from one side, it looks like a really narrow built building, but from the other side, you see that it's actually fairly wide. And I've only checked in yesterday. This is actually where we're staying. I haven't really seen anything much yet. There's also supposed to be a pool. So let me take you to, let's say, the home for the next couple of days. Which... Alrighty, guys, so coming in, 
nice little swinging door so i would say another highlight definitely in this place is their rooftop bar yeah. we are actually 19th wait this is front okay let's head over i'll show you where i'm staying uh, kind of like a nice little beachy vibe even in a sense just the way the doors are made so let me take you in coming in guys let me tell you one thing the corner unit is really something check it out so this is the home for the next couple of days here in Batumi and uh, I don't know, 10th floor out of 18th I think it's kind of like a perfect level often birds are flying by so really it's kind of like a corner view so on the one side we're seeing the ferris wheel last night so second day right now in Batumi it was lit up all the time a really give something and uh, yeah so nice and comfy bed here in the corner got a nice table but obviously pretty much spending most of the day either sitting here it's kind of like almost like a psychologist office here you can you know have your patience <laughs> i don't know that was a little bit the thought but um it's not all that is not all so next to the amazing view this is really crazy like what so i'm just thinking like what is inside of these futuristic buildings and actually like it's like a super nice beachy hotel which in many ways matches so here i have all my stuff organized obviously the socks very important uh, so with these doors and i think they call this the spa room this is the bathroom once again so much light so these things you can put down but obviously i have nothing to hide so we're putting it up <laughs> no you can put them down during the day if you're whatever like showering so toilet shower and of course of course Guys, this is this is your own steam room. Yesterday I've turned it on, tried it out. Maybe later today gonna be using it. This is absolutely unbelievable. At first I was like, what? What is that? A steam room? Wow, crazy, seriously. So this is the room at the Radisson Blue. Wow. When I saw this building, I'm like, hey, maybe stay here, but I didn't expect this. It's kind of gonna be also like a really nice mix of cozy. While at the same time you're staying in this futuristic style of building. And uh, I think they have a Georgian restaurant downstairs and upstairs a rooftop bar which definitely has to be checked out maybe both even so yeah this came out right now on to the third floor so here is the pool and i have to say it's pretty cool we have again this uh, building in the background and uh, yeah that is the pool looks actually pretty nice and deep okay guys we made it onto the roof of the Redison blue building i would say that's always kind of a good way to get to know a city a little bit is to come up to a higher point and here's actually you're getting a 360. so on the one side if we're looking over there this is pretty much like a newer district a lot of high rises you see a lot of constructions going on uh, right under us is actually kind of like the city center buildings are pretty let's say short these two towers this one and uh, this one with the like weird ferris wheel inside of it is actually the tallest buildings and um yeah so this right here is uh, the um, rooftop restaurant of the um, like, So guys, we made it up onto the roof. So this is the Umami restaurant here. I think it's on the 19th floor. Definitely together with this other tower, the two biggest buildings, you get a really nice view. Somewhat similar as in the room, but overall probably one of the best views in town. You really get to see the whole city. And that's what I like to do when I come to a new place. Just kind of like climb up. If it's not a mountain, then at least it's a hotel rooftop. And this place, I think it's mostly Japanese food. I already tried it last night. It's actually really good. So this must be the best Asian food I've had in Eastern Europe so far. The Tom Yum is a bit heavy, but it's really spicy, as it should be. And hot. <clears throat> so we got some nice sushi, some beef. So guys, walked out a little bit right in front of, let's say, the home here in Georgia is the Europe Square and it's a very, very different vibe. On one side, yes, 
Okay, so there's some Ukrainian guys pumping music. They're basically setting the mood here. But yeah, right now it's during the week, so not that many people out. But overall, the vibe is really interesting because you have kind of like these old houses, they decorated them, then you have this like I don't know, some like Harry Potter looking tower, but all of it is kind of still done in a class, classy way. Uh, especially like this building back there. But then still you have peeking out these like hyper, I don't know, like brutalist, futuristic, I would call it personally. But yeah, super nice square. Unfortunately, got a bit cloudy. I think on another day, gonna stop by again, but taking you today as well on the first impression as well. So I cannot promise you that the music is gonna be here. She Although might they be have here. a lot of street dogs and for some reason they're like super friendly they're almost like cats in Istanbul a lot of them and honestly they look better than most people's pets no offense but it is what it is all right get going see you later oh his leg is hurt mm -hmm. rainy oh, no. I would say let's go for a little bit of an old town walk modern hotel you get out of it you have these skyscrapers but then literally a couple of side streets in you are in this old city and it's like really interesting it's not you know the thing is like there's some let's say post-soviet big buildings some neighborhoods like that but also these like really cute neighborhoods where yes there's some people living here but also a lot of different little restaurants little cafes so gonna walk around a little bit here soak up the vibes on a tuesday afternoon so i think on the Who would have thought after all a couple of weeks in Batumi you see the backdrop we're basically in Dubai let's say it like that it warmed up nicely and this is the beach when the season begins a lot of people I would say also coming for vacation here like really the city filled up like crazy just like recording this a little bit for you a couple of weeks later really lived myself into it here you could say so as you see uh, very different vibe when the people are out here but also the city feels quite a bit better because it's fairly large it doesn't even feel like that touristy but yeah let's hop into the water here one thing i do have to tell you it's pretty freaking cold what is it right now end of june early july it's cold in a sense of just right to cool you down nicely get a little bit of hard nipple action going Whew. And yeah, lots of families, lots of kids, and I am getting huge throwbacks right now. Throwbacks of like 20 years ago in Ukraine, going to places like Kirilovka or like some like, you know, like seas, black seas. And uh, it's interesting, it's really interesting to, you know, have like a lot of different lives that you have lived at some point, and then just kind of like your brain is storing something somewhere. You know, just the people, the way they dress, the way, even the noise that the kids are making. Woo! The best swimmer in town. A little bit about the structure of the city here. So basically in many ways it's purely brand new. You still see the old, you see the little side streets of let's say a certain post-Soviet vibe or sometimes reminds me a lot of Ukraine, maybe of Odessa. But then you have these brand new skyscrapers all over here. This is a Hilton. This is probably the biggest Marriott building that I have ever seen in my life. They have not opened yet. So basically in the front is old Batumi. Some charming, some fairly authentic streets that you might have seen all already on the colder days. And pretty much the city is fairly walkable. We're here on the beach promenade and you can walk pretty much from the old town into new Batumi in like 25 minutes basically. If you keep walking there's gonna be another district I've stayed in all three in the middle there's a fairly large greenery park and I have to tell you on a warm day this area here is an absolute charm to walk around get a nice tan and guys we're about the beach obviously so it's not like let's say a blue sand Maldives Philippines style beach it's not even quite Bali with dark sand it's it's a rocky one it's a rocky beach but yet still the water is actually fairly pleasant so I would say it does invite you especially on a hot day to hang by the beach I'd say a lot of Eastern European people here they're really enjoying themselves and I have to tell you one thing because of the very many districts uh, the modern one in the back 
let's be honest it's really not finished yet the infrastructure is terrible you can barely walk on the road there's barely any sidewalk sometimes you know like there's not that not like a uh, red green light where you could be crossing the street but you see that they're building you see that in the next couple of years it is probably gonna be looking quite cool and it's moving fast like maybe not Dubai fast but there's like this one building I'm looking next to the Sheraton by the way the Sheraton sky bar fantastic view absolutely love it um, and with every week it kind of like changes a little bit I've only been here for a couple of weeks but pretty much half of the building seems to be almost finished like I said the coating on the outside so I really like to kind of like see and be in a city when it's happening when it's developing so basically the three different districts is uh, Old Batumi in the very front where also the Redison Blue Hotel is this other funky building and then you have a new Batumi in the middle with some skyscrapers, some apartments that I've rented over there. And in the very back, it's kind of like, again, new developments, a lot of new skyscrapers. And uh, this is pretty much what makes Batumi, to give you an idea, to understand it, this is how it is. Another thing, let's talk about apartments in Batumi. If you want to stay for a couple of weeks, maybe even months, I think Batumi is an interesting place. During the season, it's probably going to be very busy right now, early, like late June. It's getting warmer, people are coming in. There's many apartment buildings. First of all, the amount of constructions is crazy. I'm right now in the new Batumi part. Somehow I forgot to film the apartments that I stayed at over the last two weeks. On Instagram, I've captured a little bit, little room tours. Make sure you can check it out there if you want. But uh, yeah, let's say starting from like 30, 35 dollars going to 50, 60 dollars a night. You can get a pretty nice studio, beach view. Personally, there's the Orbi Towers. I think the most famous one, the most, uh, let's say, popular one, huge towers. I've had a nice corner unit and I loved it, but it's really busy, lots of tourism. A little bit further back here in New Batumi, in the beach tower, I stayed the last couple of days. Nice apartment, two, like one bedroom, kind of like a little bit bigger, around 50 dollars a night. Uh, so let's say like that, in terms of beach view, in terms of a nice condo, uh, really good value, but at the same time a little bit of a touristy vibe depending on the building, the most uh, popular ones you see on Airbnb, depends. For a couple of days is nice, but like the ele elevators are overloaded and things like that. But I have to tell you, just to view up here, this is the cafe on top of the Orbi beach tower. It's quite a vibe and just considering how many freaking constructions there are everywhere, it makes you really think how Batumi is gonna look three, four years from now, maybe two even already. So yeah, take a walk and discover a little bit of different side. Okay guys, so let's wrap it up a little bit. Let's say first impression and a bit of an impression of a couple of weeks of living in Batumi. Let me tell it to you like that. Having the beach is a big bonus. Having the modern district is kind of cool. It makes it unique. So much unique architecture, seeing it in Georgia. Absolutely love it. Outside of the season, there's probably not that much to do. When I first arrived, it has been still fairly quiet, but now it's honestly a bit too busy. The prices are also up quite a lot. When I first got here, you can get apartments 20, 30 bucks a night. Right now, same ones are at like 50, 60. Um, and I have to tell you one thing, not like a lot of, let's say, work-friendly cafes, a few, but just because of how unique the city is, of having the beach right here. I absolutely love my mornings, pretty good Wi-Fi speed, pretty decent living options. Mostly it's kind of like studio apartments for the most part, but I have to say, I could see myself coming back here, especially considering of how much the city is still developing and probably is gonna be much more functional and much more livable within maybe just a year or two. So from a perspective of uh, travel, I think it's interesting from a perspective of making it a base for a couple of weeks or even a couple of months. I think in certain seasons, maybe not peak peak high season July, but maybe a little bit when it's still warmer, I would say it's great in the winter. My guess is probably that there's not that much to do out here, but I have to say at first I didn't like it that much. It has been a bit dead. The weather wasn't on my side. And then with time it warmed up. I found some nice cafes generally in the hotels. Whenever you go to their rooftop bars, be it for a coffee, be it for a meal, you get absolutely mind blowing views. And this has been a little bit, let's say my routine, some nice beach workouts, hitting the gym, having a nice place to stay enjoying the beach and um, in terms of prices I would say it's not Southeast Asia cheap it's maybe a little bit more expensive than Turkey next door 
but still for what you get I think the value is pretty good from the condos that I have mentioned previously before yes somewhere starting 30 to 50 bucks a night is it like Bali prices it's not but you are in a fairly modern let's say city by the Black Sea and I think within the next two three years I might might have an impulse to come back just to see and check it out how it develops G generally Georgia is an interesting place they have visa visa free for one year for um, many nations all European Western passports pretty much can get it and many more and um, yeah generally if you're new here by any chance on the channel I talk about building a life of freedom around the world so for the past five years I've been traveling or even more so living in different countries and um, yeah kind of like sharing my day-to-day -day, sharing my impressions I'm still here for another week there's a few more things I would maybe want to share with you, so let me know if you would like to see another video from Batumi. With that, I am checking out from the Beach Promenade. And you too? Got a world to see. Boat is burning, and in the back, in the back, people are enjoying themselves. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Wow. Yeah, just a little boat exploded. Dead ass. Maybe it's gonna explode. Yeah, the motor.